Today, April 21st, is Science Day here in Korea. And one of the country's biggest IT exhibitions is back here in Seoul. Our Kim jong Shell gives us a glimpse of most up-to-date K-technology. This year's World IT Show presented some of the most talked about state-of-the-art technologies like this urban air mobility, or UAM, that could be used as a flying taxi in the future. The aircraft is being developed by South Korean telecommunication service provider SK Telecom and America's Joby Aviation as part of an exclusive partnership. SK Telecom will be in charge of connecting the aircraft's network. Behind me are visitors trying out the demo ride experience. This UAM aircraft hopes to fly across the Seoul sky by 2025. Many lined up to experience this transportation of the future. I thought this can help shorten transport times and solve traffic congestion issues. I also thought it would be useful in the future if the technology can be adapted to real life. In a booth nearby, Samsung's Galaxy S23 mobile phone proudly showcased its eco-friendly technology of using discarded fishing nets to make some of the inner parts of the phone. Hyundai Motor's latest update to its electric vehicle, Kona, on the other hand, focused on making its automobile more like a home. The car can apparently provide electricity to home appliances such as this fridge, monitor and laptop computer for up to four days. But this year's World IT Show wasn't just about big conglomerates. It also gave a platform to startups as well. A four-year-old startup, Watta, for example, has already won three CES Innovation Awards with its technology to visualize and track warehouse storage. There are hundreds of thousands of shelves in a warehouse, so it takes a long time to find where anything is. But with our digital twin technology, it's easy and faster for workers to find where things are. All the companies we spoke to said they hope their technologies can change the lives of people not just in South Korea, but in the world. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.